Good morning. Mm, my name is Paweł Spechalski and whatever some might think, we live in a very, very well interesting times, especially when it comes to the RC hobby, because everything is better, everything is cheaper, we can fly faster, we can fly higher, we can fly longer distance and like I said, everything is getting cheaper, cheaper, cheaper and cheaper. Uh, this is probably also one of the reasons that recently the I don't want to say long range, okay, long range, something above the line of sight with FPV, so let's say around and above one kilometer is getting more and more popular and because the humans love big numbers, because uh, everybody knows that, for example, 32 is better than 8, because, come on, it's four times more, the manufacturers of different, um, different hardware give us newer, better and stronger and uh, more interesting devices for us to play with. Something like, I don't know, two, three weeks ago, the AKK, do you know the AKK company? Mm, they started to be, let's say, a competition to the TBS, uh, as unofficially supporting Smart Audio and they, like, they specialize in the uh, video transmitters, 5.8 GHz video transmitter that are way above the average power power output. So, for example, where the the low allows for I don't know 25, maybe maybe 200 milliwatts in some other countries, uh, you can get like 1.2 watts. And now now also 2 watts VTX for like let me check the price for 37 bucks. This is like come on almost for free. So they contacted me and they offered to send me this thing. What is this is the AKK FX2 Dominator. As you can see, it's um well I'm not sure you can see, but this is the video transmitter that has a form factor of let's say a flight controller. I have a flight controller over here, so you can more or less, this is more or less the same, the same size and one might think that this is designed to be placed on top of the flight controller. It, it's not, but let me go to this uh, problem slightly, slightly later. And this thing can do, they say, it can do 2 watts of output power on the 5.8 gigahertz. 2 watts. Um, it's a shitload of power. It's a shitload of power and uh, because of that this this whole this whole thingy is has had to be focused, had to be well big and bulky and really really strong. So what do we have over there? Uh, we have a microphone, we have a connector to connect, one uh, LCD to display the band and the channel and the output power, a button, MMCX connector, um, probably the best connector there is to really connect everything. Okay, yeah, I know it might have some power loss, but still it's very, let's say, user-friendly connector. And on the bottom side, there is a huge heatsink, really, 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 really huge and heavy heatsink. And there is also a big and huge big heatsink on the top side. Why? Because, because they say it can output 2 watts of power. But the fact that it can output 2 watts of power does not mean it's not it's consuming only 2 watts of power. I checked with the uh, bench power supply how much this thing can, uh, <laughs> can consume power uh, on the 2 watts mode. And it's around 10 watts. 10 watts that is, well, let's say lost in the not so big area. So this thing is really, really, really getting hot. You don't believe me? I over here have the very simple Chinesium power meter we will be using later. Um, I know it's not super accurate, but assume let's assume that this is accurate enough. Let me connect this thing and Wait a few minutes until I will be able to read the temperature of this thing after it was on. So let me connect the power, uh, let me turn on and 13 watts, 10 watts. Right now it's consuming 10 watts on the power level 4, which is, uh, they say it's 2 watts. My power meter is reading 31. Point, um, 
32, 31, almost 32. Um, assuming that, of course, it's not very accurate, the attenuators might, might be losing some of the power. So I believe, I really believe then that in the lab test, this thing really outputs 2 watts of power. I believe it, because if it's consuming 10 watts of power and this thing reads almost 2 watts, because 30, let me, let me check exactly how much 30... 2 dBm to milliwatts and according to the calculator 32.1 is 1.6 watts. I really believe them that taking the accuracy of this whole setup and everything this thing really out is outputting a shitload really a shitload because two watts in the radio radio on something that small and the small antennas we are using it's really 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 a shitload and now now this thing was running for less like a minute let me take the thermometer contactless thermometer and let's measure the temperature 53 degrees the heatsink itself, 49, okay, it's hot, but not that hot, but the bottom side, the bottom side with equally big, it's already 57 centimeters, uh, not centimeters, what am I, uh, Celsius, it's 57. When I was playing with this thing before, um, before I started recording this video, it got almost to 80 degrees on the bottom side. So. It really is a shitload of power. Is it useful? Um, do we need two watts of power? Well, yes and no. Um, switching from what one watt to watts will not give you twice as much range, but only 1.4 twice as much range. But okay, okay. If you really want to go really, really far and be like 100% sure that this will like never lose your signal, it's a good idea to. Uh, it's an option to have like 2 watt um, VTX over here. There are, let's say, some prices to pay because this is heavy. I always forget to take the scale out. So if I will... Ah! Oh, fuck. Like I told you, it's really getting very, very, very heavy. Um, only... Kurwa. Um, okay, I was swearing in Polish. Um, this thing is really, really getting very, very hot. Only a few, only a few minutes at the desk and it weighs 15 grams. Maybe it's not that much, but if you add 15 grams and then a few grams for motors and flight controllers and so and so and so and so, it's really, well, not so easy to have a lightweight device. Also, because, because of those huge heat sinks, you will rather not fit this and the flight controller and the power distribution board and the four or four in one ESC in one frame because you have to have some space between the flight controller and this big VTX for the air to be moving because you want this to be cooled by air and also some space so hmm, this is also huge I'm afraid that this stack will just not fit most of the modern mini quad stacks. Okay, yes, you can try to mount it somewhere else, but really installing this on the mini quad with 4-in-1 or the power distribution board on the bigger stack might be really, really, really problematic. Mm. And it's really getting hot. I now. Now it's still hot, but, that's, but at least it's not burning. Okay, so only 46 degrees Celsius, 47, so it got, let's say, cooler. Mm. Should you get one? Mm. Not for the Mini Quad, definitely not for the Mini Quad, because like I said just a moment before, it's kind of big and uh, heavy to be really put on the Mini Quad. I would not fit it on my 7 inch, for example, because this is more or less... Well, it's almost two-thirds of the available space between the top deck and the bottom deck on my Source 1, 7 inch first one. So maybe on an airplane. Uh, on the long range airplane, yes, this really might be an option. But once again, because it's really getting very, very, very hot, 
you have to, well, you cannot just put it inside of your fuselage because after putting this inside of your fuselage, it will easily get to 100 degrees or even more burn and shorten the lifespan. So you have to have some kind of a cooling to at least take some of the heat away, around 10 watts of heat. So like I said, a lot, a lot. Come on, my, my mini drug. <laughs> No, no, it's not using, it's an amps. No. Okay, I went, I think, slightly so far. So, definitely. Definitely this is an option for someone who really wants to have the ultimate range and be able to breach a limit and go really, really far. But not for everyone, not for mini quads, for airplanes. And you need uh, a, at least a decent antenna because if not a lot of this... Uh, will be going back. So I will be using this. I will be using this. I'm in a process of building, uh, let's say, a big flying wing right now with more than one meter uh, span and really nice design. I'm building this for almost half a year, but I really want to finish this, this, this season. So this thing will go over there, but I will design a special compartment with the air intake and stuff like that only to be able to cool this thing in flight because the build quality is really like it's nice it's really nice and big uh, vtx uh, the soldering soldering yeah on the mmcx connector it's maybe not the best but on the other hand it's also not that bad uh, it will hold. The soldering of all the other elements is fine. The heat sinks are glued with some kind of the... what is it? Hmm, hard to tell. Looks like some kind of a silicon or, or nobody knows what. It's a good thing that someone thought about the cooling of this thing because of the amounts of the power my camera is killing me with this focus problems. So it's really, 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 let's say, thought through design. It's not that someone does. Okay, let's just put the power amplifier on the on the VTX. Let's see what's gonna happen. So I'm, I think yes. I think yes, I'm definitely, I think I'm optimistic about this design and I think it will serve me good. After I will finish the build, build, of course, I will share my more thoughts about it. I expect the smart audio to be working out of the box. I expect the, the image to be clean and, and crisp and no problems at all. The only thing that really worries me is the um, temperature, because when you are not flying, you do not have an active cooling. So it might really, really, really get hot. I will have to do some kind of the monitoring and uh, hope no bad things will happen. Either way, I really believe this is towards. I really, really, really believe this is pulling towards. Um, no problems uh, with me believing uh, that thing because of how much electricity it consumes and that this thing almost, almost showed 33 dBMs, which is towards. So I believe them. I believe them. Good job. AKK, um, maybe slight overkill, but who knows? Okay, that's all for today. Until the next one. Bye-bye.